Hello, Matthew Timing here. Welcome to another video tutorial for Balboa Gridbox. Their Gridbox is a Joomla template developer. It allows you to build templates easily and effectively just by dragging and dropping. So today I want to give you a little extensive demo and um, a little bit overview of what you're going to be learning as I create the videos for this. So let's take a look now at the back end, the admin demo, and let's log in. And we're also going to take a look at the editor to see what it looks like when you add it in. So let's log in. So this is the edit on the front end and on the back end is pretty much the same thing. What they've done is they make it a lot easier for you. So when you click to edit a page or add a new page, it's going to allow you to do that here on the front end. Now front end development is a major, major industry. You know, a lot of companies are looking for people to be front end designers. So if you learn the skills that you need to, which you're going to learn from here, you can be able to take that skill and start to work for companies that just need someone to create the front end uh, website for them. And this is another great option here. So you can save things right up here and you can have page blocks. So page blocks are really great. These are predefined uh, blocks that they've already created. And all you have to do is to click on each one to see the layout that you like. So as you scroll down here, it gives you several options. There are times when you're building a website and you want to have the contact us layout a little bit different. So if you like this first one, you drag and drop it over. The second one, the third one, and just go through to see the one that you like. And you have the content block. And then the content block, block as you can see, gives you several options and several layouts as well. So there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to you styling the way that your pages look. So if you like how this look here, you can drag it over. And then you can edit it, which I'm going to show you how to do that later on. Uh, but this is really, really great because when I started creating websites with Joomla when 1.5 was just released, back then all this technology wasn't available. So if I wanted to style a page like this, it took me a long time to get it done because you had to do some CSS work, you had to do some tweaking, you had to create module positions, and it was so much work. But with, with the drag and drop, you know, it's a lot easier to just drag and drop it over. And let's go over to the counters. So this is counters lets you have an event coming up and you won't have the counters count to a certain number, you know, to count down. You can do that here. And you go to covers. This are different types of covers that you can be able to use. They have one here with a gallery. Uh, so it's, I really love it. It's really, really simple. And once you understand how to use this, they have a, a, a video background here, which is, you know, love that too. Once you understand how to edit these and tweak them, you're going to be a really, really great web designer. So let's go over to features. You have different features options here and you go to pricing and it shows you different ways that you can be able to integrate pricing with um, with your site. And then you have the tabs and accordion. So and you have the team and you have the testimonial. So these are some of the most commonly used blocks that you can find on any website. So you can drag this on here. So now let's head over here to the tools. When you click on that, you have the media manager. This is where you can be able to manage your media and you can grab images pretty much from anywhere. So they have the, uh, the gallery extension too, which is integrated with this, which makes it a whole lot better and just really awesome. So you can grab some stuff from there. You can add the backgrounds, you can make changes to it. And you can also do code editor. And what the code editor does is let's say you have a little knowledge about CSS and you want to tweak something, you want to add a little more CSS or you want to style things to your liking. Well, you can come here, you can put your code in here or if you have JavaScript, you can put in your JavaScript um, right here without affecting the layout. Uh, as I mentioned before, one of the benefits of using this is that years ago when Joomla just started it, you know, in order for you to add JavaScripts on certain pages, you know, sometimes it's, it messed up the layout and, it, you know, it just didn't come out right. You had to know exactly where to put it. But with this one, it's a lot different. So you scroll down here and if you want to edit any module, you can just click on any section here and then you click this edit. You can clone or you can delete. So you click on this to edit it and it pulls up this pop up here. You can choose full width, full screen, the animation that you want for it. Do you want animation effect? Yes or no. You can choose to bounce and you scroll down here. You have a little more options and you can also hide things on different devices. So if you don't want, let's say a particular block to show up on the mobile device where well, you just click disable on, you click whatever device that you don't want it to show up on and it's not going to show up. So as you can see where it says create a stunning website, when I click that, I want to disable this on the desktop. 
is going to hide it. So anyone that is looking at this from a desktop is not going to be able to see that, that particular block and so on and so forth. So you have some advanced stuff. You can also do access control with these. Um, if you don't want certain people to see this particular item here, you can hide it. So in order for them to see that, they would first have to be a member or create an account on your site. Then you have the background features here. You have to scroll attachments. And I'm going to go in a little more detail with this uh, later on as we start creating stuff from scratch. And then you have your overlays. You have the shape divider. You have the bottom. You have the top. You can tweak things. You can change the colors, you can change the value, you can change the shadow, you can change so many things. You have the layout, uh, you can have the gutter, col columns in the gutter, you have the margin, the top and the bottom, you have the pattern, you have the border. So it gives you a lot of flexibility just for each block. And you can customize each block independently. You can add different blocks on different pages. You can change the bunch, you can change uh, uh, pretty much anything here that you see. And you can drag and drop. So let's say I wanted to move this particular uh, mod here. This hair, I want to move it somewhere else. Well, I just got to drag it up. And now I've moved it over. And I wanted to move this one. Just got to drag this one up. And that's somewhere else. So you can pretty much just drag and drop things on different parts uh, independently. So you've moved that there. And you scroll down here. And it shows you the, the counter. And as you're hovering your mouse over these, you can change it exactly how you want it to be. So if you want to edit this button here, you click on edit and then you change whatever it is that you want to change here. And then you go over to the page. You can check out the page settings and then the page settings. This is where you can do your SEO. You can change some of the media stuff. You can change your permissions. It gives you uh, options here to choose for SEO purposes, your title tag, your meta tags, your, your description, your keywords. So that's where you go to edit it. And then you look over on this side, add to men. You can add different items to men. You can create a new page. You can check out the pages that you've already created. You can check out the theme and you can, you know, set some different uh, parameters here. And then you can set your site. You can edit this entire uh, module here. You can edit this whole thing. Maybe you want it to be a certain color. You want it to be a certain look. You put your mouse over it and then you just go over. You can also clone it. So if you click on edit, you can pretty much edit this entire block with, you know, certain default settings for them. So you can independently, you know, edit each part here or you can edit the entire um, block of it. And then you can also check for responsiveness. You know, when you design the website, you want to make sure that it's shown properly on every single device. So when you click at this top here, it gives you desktop, the tablet, uh, the portrait, landscape, phone. So you can test as you're working on your site, how it's going to look on the tablet and the landscape view on a portrait view and a phone landscape view. And you notice that as you change things, it's adjusting accordingly based on the size of that particular device. So if you want to see what it's going to look like on the desktop, well, you just have to come in and make the changes to it and it's responsive. So it's, it adjusts according to the size of your particular device. And then once you're done, you click on save and it's going to save the information for that page. So if you're looking to create a website with a drag and drop editor, you know, this here is another great option. The grid box is another great option that you can utilize and you don't have to be a coder. You just have to understand how to use this blocks, how to edit it um, to make the site exactly how you want it to be. So thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that anytime that I release another video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.